Many college students find their money goes up in smoke when they get their first credit card. LSU junior Kyle Vincent is in that number and doesn't see an end in sight. Uh, trying to pay it back now, but I got like a minimum wage job right now. Got to pay for school, still got a couple years left in that. Students looking to stay out of debt can visit Director of the Student Financial Management Center, Emily Burris, in Coates Hall for financial advice. So if you have credit card debt, if you're not budgeting, that's going to be the first step that um, we're going to look at. Like most students, Kyle Vincent did not budget. All I did was sign the papers and didn't really think much more after that. LSU students like Kyle, thinking of doing away with credit cards completely, may want to reconsider now that the Credit Card Act restricts the amount of money credit card companies can charge. It, it gives, um, you know, lowers the fees that, you know, late fees that they can charge and puts limits on those. It puts um, requirements on them having to notify you before they raise your interest rate and give you a certain number of days and things like that. But the Credit Card Act does not come without loopholes. Some things that might become more prevalent, like annual fees, because they aren't, you know, now by law allowed to do things like inactive fees um, and different things that they used to have more leeway with. I mean, they'll, they'll find some way to dupe us into getting into that system and screwing ourselves over. For Tiger TV, I'm Jordan Walden. There it is. Okay. Cool. Awesome. Thank you. All right.